Thank you for visiting Digital Crack. This is Mario. Going on with our day one journal of the experience that I've been going through with my Samsung S3. It has been a surprise factor for me. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that the um, Meshfit case is going quite well with the design of the white uh, S3 Samsung. And um, this is my lock screen here and my wallpaper. It took a while for me to get everything up and running, but um, I think it was well worth the wait. Um, it's been very pleasant to feel the speed of this thing. It is by far the best and fastest Android phone so far that I have experienced um, to this day. Um, it's surprisingly uh, faster than the HTC One X, which I didn't think it was, but it's one of those things you have to get it in your hands, play you know play with it for a day or so or longer to really see the difference. Uh, it took me about maybe four hours of play to realize that it was actually moving a lot better um, and faster than the HTC One X. Not to say the HTC One X moves slow; it's just that this there is a difference between the two. And if you spend enough time with one over the other, you'll see the difference. Um, I want to give them very good kudos for the screen quality on this. It also beat the HTC One X screen quality, at least for me. I love the colors and the blacks on this thing are just sick. I mean, you can tell that, that, that it's like a sea of blackness. You can't even tell where the shadows are at on Thor. And it's it's, it's just mind-blowing how dark those blacks are and how red and how popping the other colors still stand out, even the greens. I love that. Um, I set up widgets for my, my email, uh, my main for, um, I guess, note-taking and website adjustments. I actually keep track of Flipboard and Android Central and my Facebook, Twitter, TED, and AMDB for my movies and then, of course, my music and my sports. Red Sox fan, as I am, we lost. And, of course, DI Radio, which is my favorite um, music app out there, along with Pandora, but DI Radio still stands in my heart as number one. I love the music apps. I love the whole um, music square option. Now you can randomly choose songs that sound like the song that you're playing or closely related to the song that you're playing. I love the options that you have for when you go into a song. Um, let's go out of that. When you go into a song, you can change the actual um, equalizer setting to a, a, a barrage of different kinds. And they actually really do change the sound. And I really like that. It's just not one of those things that's just sitting up there as a gimmick. It actually really changes the sound of the unit. Um, let's see. The, what else do I... Oh, yeah. Um, so far, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I hadn't had any crashes. hadn't experienced anything um, that this unit does not do exceptionally well. Um, the... Let's see here, the multitasking actually works. It goes right back in where you last left off without reloading the page. That's true multitasking. Again, another advantage over the HTC One X. Um, the battery life is also bigger and better, of course. Uh, how much better? I haven't determined it yet. This is my first day of of draining the battery down and and charging it back up, so it's going to take a couple of you know a couple of days to get it synced to see what the true potential is. But right away, I'm already getting 14 hours of usage off the bat, so I'm expecting it to get up to 16 maybe. Um, with the um, apps that I'm using, like like Easy Battery, I believe, or yeah, Easy Battery Saver, it helps out a little bit, and of course Squeeble, my favorite app, helps out. Um, the stay awake feature on this phone doesn't really work as well as it should, but it does work. You have to be in a very well-lit uh, environment for it to, to actually see your eye. At least that's my experience. And maybe it's because of my skin color, I don't know. But um, 
it, it does need you do need to be in a well lit area before it can actually see your eye and um, what else all the vibration notifications on this thing are great it actually can, I actually can feel vibrations uh, the other phone that I had with the HTC that was one of the, the complaints minor complaints that I had about it was that I couldn't feel the vibration the vibration was so weak that I would miss a lot of phone calls and a lot of um, emails and stuff that um, that were sitting on my hip waiting for me to connect. Well, this thing has options for the, for you uh, to alarm you, such as notifications, bigger notifications, because the notifications in HTC were just way too small. And you can color, customize each notification if you want red to be your notification for a missed phone call. You can make it. If you want uh, blue to be your um, notification for missed emails, you can make that so. Um, you can customize your lock screen to wake up based on a customized saying that you have. I have it as S3. I think that's it. Let's see here. It says swiped, unlock, fail to recognize. S3. So I guess it's not working right now then. <laughs> S3. There you go. So there you go example of it. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time, but um, let's see. Another thing that you probably want to know about is all my Nova Launcher. And um, I didn't waste time putting Nova Launcher on here because TouchWiz is too complicated at times. Um, things like like these icons at the bottom. It took me three hours to set this thing up and get all of my information over. But one of the longest times that I've actually spent on a phone customizing it um, was based on this one specific, uh, specifically was these icons. I couldn't find a way to change them on the lock screen. I knew how to do them on the, the unit, but I couldn't change them here. And that's that frustrated me. It frustrated me to no ends. And I found out that the reason why I was frustrated because I was... Uh, not understanding that I was supposed to have understood that without without any previous Android device being like this, that I was supposed to understand that all of these things, these terms on the left side, uh, weren't just words to describe the action that you could actually take to the right side of the screen. They were, in fact, entering or touchable touchable options to go into the actual shortcut. Now, nothing on the screen to me points to me to let me know that that is something that I'm supposed to do. Uh, to me, the layout shows that all the options or all the um, actions that I could take are on this side of the screen, not clicking here. But that may be just me, but that to me was a little confusing to me. And I didn't, I didn't think that that was necessary for TouchWiz to have it set up like that. But... Anyway, I will be doing more tests. Uh, I want to thank you for visiting us um, on this special evening of the day one journal of the Samsung S3. And uh, so far this phone has been living up to the hype. And it has proven me wrong in several occasions. And I'm very proud to have it on my side so far. But any problems that I do come about, I will post them. Thank you.